A very good evening to you, Ghana. My name is Miss Nancy, your star coach, your sex coach, and the author of Steez. I'm delighted to bring you another edition of The Vay, right here from the Platinum Place, GH1 TV. If you're watching us live on Facebook, thank you. If you're active there, you are Devarian. And if you're Devarian, this is what is expected of you. You will share, you will comment, you'll be active. And you have no idea what happens live on Facebook when people are watching us, people are finding love. Did you know that? Yes, they are. So you better go there and get active. And who knows, that person you've been waiting for all your life could find you over there. Tonight is going to be an awesome conversation. We do set goals. We set goals for our careers. We set family goals. We set goals for our finances and all of that. What stops us from setting sexual goals? Sex is of essence. It is a need, not a want. It is something that God created. It is something that we cannot live or do without. Sex is good, especially one that comes with the big O's. It is super. And if it is, you need to set the goals. When you go into the bedroom with your beloved, or sometimes even outside the bedroom, and you just want to give yourselves those big O's, what is the intent? What do you think? Oh, I want to give it to him or her and make them adore me all over again. You know, there is that sex that when you have, when you're done, she looks at you with, with such love in her eyes and she will hug you and squeeze you in and breathe you in as if it's the first time you ever did it. Mm-hmm. That's one kind of sex. And there is that sex that makes your partner wonder, oh my God, I had forgotten how playful I could be and how playful he could be. Oh my God, he is so naughty. And it is playful. And then there is that sex that when you are done, she looks at you, it's like, hey, into kwe kupane no easy. Hey, into atua peeni. They are shocked. They are awed. That is what we've been talking about. Certain sexual goals, that which overwhelms you, that which keeps your love intact and flourishing and more. And with me to have this conversation tonight is Dr. Francis Odia Odum. Hey, Doc. Miss Nancy. It's been a while. Oh, you, I tell you, I tell you. It's been a long, long while, but I'm back. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I mean, that little boy, my ex-TV husband. Uh, you know. I knew you when I had a certain TV husband. And he and I are so divorced because another oh. network snatched him. Okay. And I pretend I don't miss him. And oh God, I do really miss him. And I wouldn't even mention your name, man, because I know you're watching. And I have with me Jennifer Brickman. She is a life coach and an image consultant. And Jennifer is excited about sex. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, but I mean, we're all virgins here, if you know what you I'm know, saying. Yes, you know. Nancy. I mm -hmm. absolutely am a virgin, <laughs> and I'm not sharing this spot with any of you. So, darling, you are not a virgin. On the. <laughs> right here Let's in the talk. studio, I'm the only one that has never experienced before. Okay. And I have a woman who is known in Ghana. She is Ashlam. She is the Zionist. She is an evangelist, a woman of God who has some experience. I mean, when you see a woman of God in a fishnet stockings, you should know she's one sexy <laughs> one. And you would understand when they start the fishing, the conversation, why we brought her all over uh, to the studios right here on GH1 TV. So, certain sexual goals. When we say sexual goals what even comes to your mind gentlemen ah it's sexual goals one of the very um difficult words or phrases to to define mm -hmm. one because we are you know humans are very diverse we are so variable from our culture backgrounds our homes our religious views and mm -hmm. everything so and everybody expects or everybody has different expectations or everybody has what he wants when he gets into the sexual act. But I think we can, we can, we can still find some common grounds and say that um, sexual goals are, or a sexual goal is, 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 is trying to, whatever you do to try mm -hmm. to complete, you know, um, a sexual act, right? Usually at least to obtain um, pleasure. And then if you are lucky, sometimes, 
to get um, orgasm. Mm-hmm. And then you, if you are super lucky, lucky, sometimes to get to the, the fifth stage of sex, that uh-huh. is resolution. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I think everything you do, everything you do to attain at least pleasure during sex is a sexual goal. Goal. Thank you. Jennifer. Yes. Certain sexual goals. Certain sexual goals. I must say our intimacy. I mean, we are in a time of social distancing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I believe, um, especially in the realms of marriage and coming together and finding your finding your sacred place, Mm -hmm. you know, you should definitely make sure that your sexual goals are on point and they are upgraded. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes. uh, Aslo. Yes, madam. Certain sexual goals uh, as a woman with great experience, you, you, you are married and you know what it is like. Have you ever set a sexual goal for yourself or yes. for your partner or for the both of you? Yes, I have on several occasions. Okay. And um, as a married woman, mm-hmm. I was in the past a sex addict. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> so... Then, when you say you were, you were a sex addict, mm-hmm. I mean, how often were you having sex? As often as you can think of. As often. A day I can have sex about 20 times, and I had. I had... Wow. <laughs> that was in the past. Wonderful. In yes. the past. Yes. Mm. So, in marriage now, setting sexual goal is very important, especially when finding someone. When I wanted to get married, mm-hmm. I look into that. And if my man cannot give me that pleasure that I want, I'll teach you how to. Okay. Yes. So it's very important to set sexual goals. Mm -hmm. And that sexual goal can give you a beautiful offspring that will come. Oh, and, yes, so the goals important. you set, Sex. even it tells the kind of children you Thank give you birth very to. Much. Yes. So those that are not having enough sex or... The, the children the sex... comes out dull. <laughs> <laughs> there is a doctor here, you know. <laughs> to me, dog. I've even very heard, heard I mean, I mean, stories <laughs> like when you have sex at night, <laughs> uh, your children are very dark-skinned. I mean, obviously, this young lady was created either in the morning or during sunshine. <laughs> I have to ask you. <laughs> Yes, we hear of all of that. No, I mean, um, I, I, I don't think nothing I don't scientific think, no, to support. No, 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 no. No, I, but I, it's it's very important. Then, yeah, to to be happy. Yeah. Yes, whilst having sex. sex. Yeah, and that I agree. When yeah. your child comes out, I have a son, so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If if you're happy and you have that orgasm, yeah. the child comes out very lively. Well, intelligent. My, my daughter is very beautiful too, yeah. but yes. I don't even remember. Oh, you, you, what <laughs> thing Lebeski says, I'm glued <laughs> tonight watching your live from Afari Community Hospital in Achuma Nwabija. Oh, wow. oh, I missed that one. Okay, Municipal. Honorable AJ Array. Okay, uh, thank you. Miss Nancy, you're looking good this evening. In some cases, our oh, Rosina, this is for you. Mwah, thank you for the compliment. And uh, we are on the conversation. Having frequent sex, is that a goal or a good goal for a couple to set, Jennifer? I think that is a very good goal. That you decide that we're going to have plenty of sex plenty and just imagine you have kids Mm -hmm. you have to find time space Mm -hmm. and definitely tricks in Mm. order to making it happen Mm -hmm. people speak of closet sex sometimes Mm -hmm. you know it should be quite (laughs) you you should have a walk-in closet to be able to do that right so yeah i think the spontaneity makes it nice Nice. and beautiful right Mm -hmm. and exciting Mm. so it's ideal for people to decide i mean if your partner says let's have frequent sex i mean how much sex can you have hmm Yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I can have a lot of massages, you know what I mean? But I must say, like, I, I'm still a learner. I still have to learn. Mm. Yeah, I still have to learn. I, 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 I'm yeah. really not an expert. I still have to learn. Yeah. Well, um, having sex frequently. Yeah. Doc? Miss Nancy, I think um, frequent sex is, is, is a gift. Mm-hmm. It's a gift. If your partner 
as someone who is you know asking you for frequent sex mm. yeah, that's like a gift from god mm. yeah because the benefits of sex when we take medical you know benefits mm. aside, aside. You know, we can't list them today mm. when you talk about the spiritual benefits of sex yeah. Yeah. Mm. numerous you know mm. and going back to your question why you have beautiful kids mm-hmm. when you have good orgasm when you have good orgasm the thing is you wake up the next morning as a happy couple yeah yes. and your kids see that mm-hmm. happy happiness the energy even as, is yes, infectious even as as as, as infants as new as mm-hmm. toddlers they're always seeing a happy you know couple mm-hmm. and that makes them beautiful oh. so maybe scientifically that is how best i can explain mm-hmm. why you have beautiful couples mm-hmm. when you have very good orgasms yes okay so having frequent sex is is magic i think mm-hmm. every couple if i should maybe track a number to it maybe 50 times a day what yeah I should. it's not just Pino vaginal. Okay. Yeah. So w- when we're talking about having frequent sex, not necessarily penetrative sex. Exactly. exactly. And if it's not penetrative, he could rub it on your head. Exactly. Could rub it around your nose. Exactly. Rub it on your lips. You know it. In between your breast, on your tie. In between your tie and your hand and two. What's, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> in between your, you know what? Your, your tie yeah, it's those of us with big legs, we, we actually have some flesh over there, of there, and it can get yeah. quite warm. <laughs> and, and in you between some... your breasts, mm. mm. that is another one. Mm. In be- mm. how do you do it? <laughs> you let him rub his, you know, just like that. You put it together. You put it together. He mm-hmm. holds it. Sometimes you don't, mm. and he rubs it. Rubs and, uh, and they... it's amazing. Oh. Well. <laughs> They're saying that if you want to set sexual goals, changing of lingerie is one of the things that a woman should do. Ashlam, you are the wearing the one wearing the fishnet. <laughs> and, uh, I'd like to know what was the motive. It's very important mm. as a wife mm-hmm. to be sexy mm. all the time. Mm. My husband li- loves lingeries mm-hmm. and other things. Oh, this might also tickle his fancy. Okay. The fish night. Mm-hmm. So as as a woman, you need to take good care of yourself. You need to not necessarily wear makeup, but smell good. Yeah. For me, what tickles me is a man smelling good. Mm. So you using a good perfume mm. turns me on. Mm. I'm wet already. When I, okay. yeah, I when smell you, you are able to smell him. Yes. And I'm you love the smell you get. Yes. Mm. So I know the kind of perfumes I love and mm. I buy it for my husband. For your partner. Yes. Mm. So you need to take good care of yourself. And how about good. the men? The lingerie. If we were talking about women changing their lingerie, the men the, too should wear yes, some few sexy things. They think. have to. They have how, to also how, wear. How do you find him when he's sexy? What does he wear to make you say, oh my some God. Some panties or okay. um, boxes. Mm. that are so attractive mm. there are some nice boxes out there that mm. when you wear it oh my god so you, we you, have you should, we have the boxes the you loose show us, ones you should show us where yeah we have the by, you know. oh, oh, okay oh, you, you, you can get it at beautiful <laughs> right. beneath trust you me beautiful beneath uh-huh. is actually coming to the duvet laugh <laughs> oh, so if you don't know what to buy for yourself dear man duvet laugh on the 11th of february bring yourself and your partner okay. here and let us show you so what I would want to recommend for the men as a style coach on the show okay. is boxer briefs. Yes. The boxer briefs have um, a bit of elastics in it. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of them are not too long. Others are long. Yeah. The shorter ones are quite sexy. They are close to the body. They pack it all together. And oh my God, you know how they are able to bring out that glory mm, yes. in front of the man. Wow. Wow. So that is it. And the, the band. There is something about the band when it's big and it's got some, you know, graphics in it. It, mm-hmm. it actually tickles my fancy. Yeah. It has. I think oh, the, it has. Clean, the overall mm-hmm. clean look mm-hmm. and a good fragrance and a good smell yes. really does it, right? And mm-hmm. even the men, the men have to also take good care of their underparts. Definitely. Because, you know, okay. We ladies, the grooming part. The, the grooming part. We will get so, to that. Yeah. So, changing of lingerie, you are the man here. If you want to see something on your woman and say, oh my God, this is life given. You know the thing that when you look at it, something in between your legs begin to definitely, get alive. Definitely. Definitely. You know, um, I, think, I think ladies look 
I don't know, but I think they look more beautiful with clothes mm. than naked. Okay. That is you what are I, the I one have. that fancies yes, I, a I, bit I, I of think, covering. Yes. Lingeries are, are magic. They, mm. you know, just walk, you know, after a hard day's work, getting home, you know, very late at night, and then your partner, you know, is wearing this fishnet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or something, you know. This fishnet, eh? <laughs> I've, got some, I've got some bra. The way you will work with it, I'm telling some you. Some black with some gold. <laughs> it's, it's a turn on. It's mm-hmm. a turn on, I'm mm-hmm. telling you. You have no idea what it does to us. No matter how angry you are at work, mm. you get home, you see this beautiful wife of yours, this partner in this beautiful lingerie, you know, as a, 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 a family home, be a family home, a yacht. That's a rugby. Mm. You understand? Yeah. I'm covered, I'm almost <laughs> naked. I'm covered, I'm oh, almost man. naked. Oh, she, she, she moves and you can almost see her draw. You, you want to touch it and tear it apart and see mm. what's underneath. Oh, yeah. Is That's that a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Learning other ways of kissing, Jennifer. These are your lips. I'm sure when it comes to kissing, you should have something to share with us. Gong Emmanuel says, I'm happy I'm watching your program tonight. I really appreciate your good work. Keep teaching us, Gong. We're happy to be bringing you duvet. But I hope that I'm seeing you at the duvet love fair and also at the singles mixer we are coming together those of us that are single and searching even if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend trust you meet and over until it's over you never know the one you would be marrying probably would meet you at those events so hey mm. don't give up come together you never know you would have a reason to <laughs> move on <laughs> so learning new ways of kissing jennifer I think kissing is a very beautiful thing. It's really fundamental. Um, but also communication mm-hmm. in kissing can be intense. Mm-hmm. I think you fully, like sometimes you really have to, because some people, they don't kiss, right? Mm-hmm. And I think we women, we like it soft and tender, right? Okay. Too wild kissing is not the way. So Too much kissing? No, too wild. Too wild? Too wild of a tongue <laughs> going... <laughs> We like a caterpillar. I, oh, yeah. That we not, how we do don't women, do. How do you want it? I want it soft, tender, with love, special, very special. Mm. <laughs> and with care, time, you know, yes. time is a very, very awesome factor. Mm. Yes. Mm. So time. take your time, time. guys. Okay. Take, Please, your, time take and kiss. your time and yes. kiss us. Yes. Look, and don't look, be the caterpillar. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like the tongue kissing? I don't like that because some people use um, the saliva is too much. Too much. Okay. I, I, I don't. I didn't oh, a lazy up tongue. Kissing much. A lazy tongue is also very. Yeah. How do you feel about a lazy tongue? Mm. Oh. Sitting there, yes. sitting there, not doing anything. anything. Inactive tongue. No. Expecting me to do everything. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the mood actually. And when you are in the act, for me, when I'm in the act, that's when I kiss. Mm-hmm. But I don't start kissing. Yeah, you don't it comment your love making with kissing. No. Yeah. But when you but are when in the he... act and it gets to you, Thanks. then you want to then chew I, him thank you and breathe much. him in. Kiss I can that. bite you, you know, mm. softly, you know. <laughs> Dog, but, you know the game where I say that don't do anything, just allow me to kiss you. Oh. Mm. Mm. And so I'm inside your mouth, but I'm the one in activity. Yes. I, I, I love it when I am in control. I mean, I, I love it when I'm in control and I love it when I put limitations on you. Mm-hmm. I think I, I love to be domineering. Mm-hmm. I think I do. Yeah. Even when kissing. <laughs> Lolo Lawson says, oh, let me get Lolo Lawson's comments. Uh, Lolo Lawson. Can I get that one? Okay. There are some guys who are not romantic when it comes to kissing. Yeah. I really like it when my partner is good. Thank you, Lolo. You spoke for all of us. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ah, bad kisses, we are here. Teach us, please, because my wife is complaining here. No go, nice. <laughs> no go, thank you for admitting that you do not know how to kiss. Yeah. And, oh, my cameraman somewhere just told me that you should come for personal training. He says, bad kisser. He says, at least, uh, what do we teach, no go? The, huh. the best way to kiss. I mean, looking at it's... your lips, I'm sure you've been kissing and it's been good. Uh, how <laughs> So just 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 a, just little you know, uh, this little conversation here showed us that 
we could be diverse. Yes. 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 Jennifer wants it this way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ashlam wants it that way. Mm-hmm. Miss Nancy wants it that way. Mm. Okay. Um. So I think it's it's just like you started communication. Yeah. Yes. Communication. Okay. Most of the times, ladies expect the man to know magically how to kiss. Mm-hmm. You know. And don't don't get too mad at us when you know for the first time you're you getting it wrong, doing the right. caterpillar and all those things. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's all about telling us. And no cool. We the guys, you know, Charlie, sometimes you have to be mild and learn. Mm. You understand? You don't know everything. You can't know yeah. everything. Yeah. You understand? So it's all about, you know, oh, okay, how do you want it? Okay. And you know, sometimes the lady wants it this way today. Yeah. And then when the next another day, time she wants it that way, so they didn't do it this way. Uh-huh. You know? And to listen to the response. Variety, yeah. they say, to, how does she life? respond to the kids? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What so, is, is she doing? Yes. Like, what's happening to yeah. her, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I I broke up with a guy because of bad kissing. Whoa. Okay, and you know he doesn't know how to kiss, mm-hmm. and he also used the saliva too much, mm-hmm. and he has bad uh, odor, oh. mouth odor. Okay, wow. so I tried my best to, to deal with it, but it didn't how work to out. Kiss the top. Mm-hmm. You know, that's cute. Okay, so the upper lip upper and lips, then the lower, the lower using the tongue to rub bit, on the lips. Yes, no, <sighs> no, <laughs> no, gently, gently, the little bites. bites. And I hate saliva. One thing that turns me off oh, okay. is saliva. Mm. Well, so we are all to divers. kiss we have and them. not see wetness. Mm, no, you can't. <laughs> it's I, I did a French kissing. <laughs> and not see wetness is a it's, bit it's uh, interesting, right? That's yes. maybe then when I'm in in the cloud. So okay. guys, yes. just so you know, all women are not the same. Yes. The fact that somebody wants you to go deep into her mouth and almost swallow her up doesn't mean every woman wants it like that. So you see, Jennifer says, tender, light, sweet. Yes adoringly kiss me oh, yes. and Ashlong says please don't kiss me until you're inside me and I'm so loving it <laughs> and that is variety the same yes. it has spice to life people I'll be right back don't go again <laughs> This is Tove and you're welcome back. We're having a great time even here in the studio whilst you were off. And uh, we are discussing certain sexual goals and the conversation is really exciting. We were on kissing and I saw some comments on uh, uh, Facebook that I really think we should be picking them. Princess Debbie says, the guys that bring their tongue the moment their lips touch yours, it's a super <laughs> turn off. The moment their lips touch, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know how to do? Mm. 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 And then on slowly. my nose, yes. here, yeah. here, on top, the down. This thing you, you know, oh, sucking. No. Mm. You you should even suck on my lip. Don't bite it. Suck on it gently, a little, mm. and then you bring a bit of your tongue just to moisturize it, okay. and then you take it back in. It's mm. a process. I mean, uh, I had a dream last night, and somebody was teaching me how to kiss. Mm. <laughs> You know, I've never done it before. Francisco says, good evening, Miss Nancy. I really love the show. I don't miss it. Keep up the good work. And um, I really enjoy kissing, Miss. I'm in love with you. Oh, are you? Mm. <laughs> okay. So we're talking about some of the sexual goals to set. Already we have said, have sex frequently. And sex, we didn't say it's just penetrative. Do a lot of sexual you activity. Did, you didn't come to me on together. that aspect. They have sex frequently. You didn't oh, ask me. Oh, I did, mm, didn't no. I? No, you only <laughs> stopped here. All right, it's Claire in La Palm Wine Junction. Your oh. program is deep. Thank you. Which date is your event coming on? Yes, it's on the 11th of February, and we're having a great time. From morning, 9 a.m. is the Duvet Love Fair. And then at night, we'll go to the Silver uh, silver Star Towers and we're going to have a great time m- meeting <laughs> meeting new people and finding love. My producers are on my neck. <laughs> okay, so, so let's get to how do you set the goal for nurturing and intimacy? What are some of the things that you do as a couple when you want to reignite the love of your partner? Mm-hmm. in the bedroom so this is sex that is dedicated to building intimacy and reviving the love mm-hmm. sometimes you have to get away 
sometimes you have to structure and plan a getaway okay. because when you do it in your four walls, it can become very, very, yeah, I mean, draining. So you have to run away, get away. And that's why implementing spontaneity is amazing. Mm -hmm. How about the car? How do you feel I, about I, cars? Uh, you're on point. Mm -hmm. The kitchen, whilst I'm cooking, my husband comes behind me. Done. Touch it, my body, honey. Smart, well, 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 my, whilst you're doing household chores, they bring in the love. It makes you feel loved, my, huh? You know, spank me. Mm -hmm. You know, st before you realize, one is gone now. And sex <laughs> is throughout the <laughs> day. It's to, <laughs> to <laughs> texting. Yes. It's in the morning waking up and all throughout the day. It's like, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And I like it. What I really like is when on a Monday, I know what I'm going to be doing on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh. So all well planned, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think about it's that true, on Tuesday, true, I think Wednesday. When I grow up, I would want to be doing that. <laughs> yeah. let, let me know our sexual calendar. <laughs> that girl, tomorrow I will do you. And I'm going to spend the whole day planning my wardrobe. Okay. My sexy wardrobe. Wow. The setup, everything. Yeah. My skin. I would want to exfoliate. I'd want to do some waxing at wow. certain places. You wow. know, just so I present myself well for you. Wow. It's not a bad idea. As I mean, love you that. are only clever. Mm -hmm. if you implement that thought into a woman yeah. mm -hmm. on a Saturday for the yeah. next Saturday yeah because all through the week we get nervous we're like when is it Very. happening it's coming up okay mm -hmm. let's do mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. what about joining your husband you know mm -hmm. for a busy type husband you know sneaking yeah. into his workplace I think it's uh, beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Are you not 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 so where should we come? So that she knows. Should we come to the Jennifer, where do you want to go? <laughs> oh, we should come to the hospital. No, please tell us. Like, how, what, What's the fantasy here? Oh, okay. I mean, um... Okay, let me put myself aside. The lunch pack here. Here's yeah, your yeah, lunch. Yeah, we'll pretend it's not you, but yeah. tell me that's exactly what <laughs> yeah, you want, so darling. Yeah, so let's say um, yeah, it's I'm not a you, it's your man. friend. I have my own, you know, workplace. I have, I'm the CEO of a big company somewhere. You know, my have wife a decent office. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You just pretend as if, hey, Charlie, please, I need a space for something, something. You know, quickly, everybody just moves out. You know, you pretend as if you are, mm -hmm. and your wife sneaks in through the back door somewhere. Okay. Just do it nicely. Like, nobody knows you put on a shirt. And, mm. you know. Done. The quickies yeah. are so, you know. Huh. As long, I'm coming to you, but we have a sad <laughs> issue here, and it's an emergency. Olivia Abla says, my boyfriend is the best kisser. I always feel loved and turned on just by his lips touching mine. Mm. But unfortunately, he broke up with me just this evening. Oh, sad. Darling, don't worry. What there are you many, tell her, Olivia? Sweetheart, there are many fishes in the sea, yes. and there are many, many nice men. But it may not be able to kiss like No, him. they will be you able. You just someone. have to communicate from the get-go. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. I have but, hope but, for But her. you know how there is this man that you kissed? It was so light. It was so sweet. It's it's it, yeah. it's it's a safe. Even when he's kissing you, he doesn't want to hurt you. But mm. everything he does to you touches so you perfect. light. It's almost like nothing is on your skin, yes. and yet perfect. How do you teach somebody to treat you like that? Mm. That kind of man, me, I'll not find some again. No. We don't find those Olivia, fishes let's anymore. cry together. <laughs> but maybe it gets better. Let's all cry because me, I'm not the boy here. I need the reason to cry. Maybe it gets better though. <laughs> okay. Lois Blaine Small says. Kissing is very beautiful when you know what you're about to do. You can equally kiss without the tongue, play, and later having the tongue play too. Yeah. But in all, it's how slower you go that's what brings the turn on. Louis, hey. I like you. Mm. Louis, you're the man yes. of the night. Slow kiss. Yes. Louis, uh -huh. <laughs> he, he's great. He's great. He couldn't have said it any better. We're still talking about uh, nurturing, bringing that kind of sex that brings, I mean, love and intimacy. You know something they call the acupressure? Mm, acupressure. Yeah. You know, I, I've seen it in movies where yeah. they put needles or pins okay. at the back. There is this process that they do. Apparently, yeah. it reactivates your sexual yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, the thing about that is, um, you know, the body is, is spread with so many nerves all over mm -hmm. the body. And there are some um, exact places that have probably more nerves than others. others. So these are, uh, you know, Eastern medicine, the Chinese, the Hindus, 
they've studied into these things and they're able to put needles at very specific areas. Areas. That is, they're able to stimulate some specific areas and then, you know, they just make you feel like on top of the world. They actually mm-hmm. work. Apparently, I think we have a few in Ghana, yeah. I think. Oh, we do. I did, I did one do. last year. Yeah. Where? Right here in yeah. Ghana? No, in the UK. I live in the UK. Oh, so okay. My husband yeah. took me there paid for it and i had and how was it it was awesome did it uh, reactivate your sexual yeah, energy absolutely yeah it brought me mm. back yeah so i mean people should be very aware and intentional yeah. about their sexual life so that yeah. if you're going to sex i mean and set sexual goals you need to know what are the things we can do to reignite our sexual lives and thus is definitely one of them um, yeah. doc have you heard about tantric sex yes i think um yes I watched it in a movie. You did? Yes, I did. Tell us how it was. <laughs> it was one of these, you know, Eastern European movies. Uh-huh. You know, um, the couple were, you know, together. They, they had taken off their clothes and mm-hmm. everything. They were just, you know, staring at each other, you mm-hmm. know, touching each other. Mm-hmm. There was no penal vaginal no. penetration. You know, touches you here they'll smear some oil around their body they'll mm-hmm. do some gymnastics essential you know? oils mm-hmm. essential oils, oils. with yeah. sensual sense yeah. these these are not just oils they are oils with aphrodisiac properties oh, in it yeah. pheromones, pheromones infused yeah, exactly. in it yeah. so your exactly. whole body it was it's, it's well i have not experienced i'm hoping to experience it it's, but what i saw in the movie it looks like were they like bare goals. naked were they yeah, were they no. sitting on the bare naked they had, they had spread a mat you know, mm-hmm. just for the mat, mm-hmm. we're bare naked. They started with, you know, sitting together, cross their legs, started watching each other, saying some words to each Breathe other. That's how it started. Oh. And the lady just, you know, crawls like a snake, Oops. a tiger, gets to the guy. <laughs> you know, they pick this oil from nowhere, smear each other with it. Mm-hmm. You know, a little bit of touching here, touching there. This one goes here, the tongue is going elsewhere. Mm. And there was no sex. No, no, I mean, no, what we, what, yes, what we yes. usually call, mm. you know, mm. yeah. it was and just this, you, and it you, was amazing. You watching, you watching alone, you, you, you have this satisfaction sort of yes. even watching it. So, imagine if the you one the that thing. was experiencing it, <sighs> ah, but someone is just saying that, ah, this one, they, it's like you go to the gate and you didn't enter heaven. No. You know, there is the typical <laughs> Ghanaian man, yes. They Especially those from my region, <laughs> that uh, they, 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 they like. So you brought me here to just come and all you look at me. You, and... you didn't let me do that because the whole, Jennifer, the whole body, like your skin, is uh, there for arousal. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't even need to touch the person. Yes. You, they, they just need to feel your energy. I've seen things like where people get aroused through that energetically yeah. touch, like mm-hmm. like this, not even touching the mm-hmm. person. Where I'm like, this is beautiful. We should yes. all experience that Set. because that's on another level. That's yes. Like um, satisfaction on another level, level where yeah. we we don't know about these things, you know, mm-hmm. and just a touch can lead you mm-hmm. to heaven <laughs> and yeah. give you an idea of mm. uh, whom you didn't know you were, you know. Yes, yes. 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 Tantric sex, Ashlam. <laughs> have you ever tried it? Several times. You have. Yeah. And what were some of the benefits I would want you to share? Um, I will say the mind, sometimes some of us work 12 hours. Mm -hmm. We are stressed, Mm -hmm. so tired, and uh, we need to relax our Mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. So with such, my -hmm. husband and I, I'll always use myself. Mm -hmm. My husband and I, what we do is we we soak ourselves in the bath. Okay. For a while, let's say 30 minutes, we are in the bath, you are rubbing each other, we are mm-hmm. talking, we are having... And even during that period, you, you realize that there are certain things that we've not talked about. Yeah. But that moment, yeah. it comes out. We mm-hmm. discuss it. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a beautiful moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the bath helps us a lot. We rub ourselves, mm-hmm. just talk, you know. It's, it's so very intimate. It's relaxing. So intimate. It so, yes, yeah. a relaxing moment, mm-hmm. and also massages. Like we, we I after lie that, down after that. Your partner, then, yes. a massage actually it touching them. them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Massages every part of my body. Mm-hmm. It's good to massage the it inner is. parts of your body, mm-hmm. the inner ties, the inner ties. But 
you know the liver the top part of your mm, your vagina vagina mm. okay is actually good for you to, for it to be for massaged. a man to massage that part all the time mm. it's not about sex but just allow the man massage it as well mm. now or me when you do that alone and looking into it like this it turns me on mm. wow yeah just be playing with it massaging this you know holding the sides you know mm talking and then, and then about that. adore it yes. you know as you're looking at thank it, you you are just give it you adoration know, yes. worship it yes Say you, you might not know so because you don't... that's what's gonna get us dripping wet yes i'm already wet by you doing that mm -hmm. and also shaving a man has to shave you mm -hmm. when you want to have that tantric yeah. let, let the your husband allow your partner allow your partner to shave, to shave or give you, you the wax well he do you is know that in our part of the world eh? they don't the do only that. time they do that is when they are going to give birth yes <laughs> and it's because the doctor or the midwife yes insisted. yes so allow your your partner to shave you mm -hmm. when he's yeah oh, honey please you lie down he's shaving you your yeah and touching the parts you know Roman there is nothing like it's a man so that comes with with preferences uh, every now and then you say i need a little bit of hair on it Thank the you. next time he says Say, i need it let me very yeah. so, so what i do allow is, him to do that i leave i leave yeah. a hair in the middle all okay. the time so when he's growing he shaves the other parts oh that's okay. that, 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 like that is mohawk. his field that, that is his field yes mm. so the yeah that's so the mohawk <laughs> is always what does there he do with the mohawk with the bit <laughs> oh, of the hair he rolls it and sometimes you don't twist it as if he's plating it mm. you know twisting it mm. as if i heard that one rust. i didn't yeah. believe it so you guys Even have been one. doing that one yes <laughs> twisting and braiding it yes ah, so, you know you just a virgin you know. so yeah. that trick, that trick saying, oh, so yeah. many 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 uh, formulas yes wow. that you can oh. so many things to, to do dog yeah. Yeah. bathing together mm. And sometimes when we say these things, people think it's so out of the ordinary. But bathing together, when we were younger in our compound houses, you see Brad, Brad, you see a sister, Joa, they'll go to the bathroom and they'll use their little cloth and they would be there for so long. And you hear giggles and all of it, they didn't know what was happening. But whenever they came out, you will realize that even the people in the house would be giving them attention yeah. and all of that. Bathing together as a couple. Mm. But why would you even get married and you know build a bathroom and just bath alone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know have a jacuzzi or something mm -hmm. and just sit in and bath alone. alone you know i'm just you need to be together you need to bath together be there like um as long is saying you know be rubbing pad that it, it serves as the best time to even explore things you never you never knew yes. parts of your, your 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 partner's body you never knew you said you probably, something so special you said mm -hmm to do it together mm. the togetherness part yes. the each other mm -hmm. for one another, another. you know yeah. if you cannot do things for each other together yeah. what are you here Why for you, you know yes. and yes. then also thinking of bathing such a beautiful moment of cleaning getting clean together yes. like you yeah. said as a yeah. point of reference yeah. of yes. intimacy but, yeah. Yeah, together yeah. that's yeah. the yes. point you, you get to learn you, or you get to know certain things or certain parts of your partner's body mm. you would never discover yeah, yeah. Okay. so i think the tantric is mm. very important mm. in because our lives that is how you discover that, thank you that's how you discover yeah. the romantic part the of your partner's yeah. body and then for some, me some details that yeah. only exactly. a lover or a husband thank should you. know exactly. yes exactly that's exactly. it the discovery yeah mm. so you because need to there do... are women with inverted nipples that, that it's again. only upon arousal that it's lifted yes. so if you've lived with your wife for five years and you, you don't really know, know that your wife has got inverted nipples and the only time it stands is when she's sexually excited yes. you would never know when she's ready for you exactly. yes exactly. and some people will never touch their legs yeah <laughs> yes, I'm don't bring that it. one. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm. Don't bring that one. You no. don't know. Hey. The Miss, sucking of my toes. Don't bring that one. Miss Nancy is a corporate. The sucking so of many. my toes. Yes. Don't, don't, don't try. For me, if a man mm. just keys my back, mm. the back of your neck, mm. the back of my neck, mm. it's another mm. thing. Kiss mm. like, just, mm. just mm. a simple one. Do people in our country fetishize feet? they don't you know they in africa mm -hmm. in africa because of our culture yes and societal uh, beliefs and um 
a religious belief is making a lot of people not to, to learn about yeah. sex. They find mm. it difficult to talk about all these mm. things. But as, as a woman of God who is exposed, and most people know my ministry, yeah. I'm well exposed and I you live are. abroad and mm. I've experienced mm. a, lot a lot with elderly men, young mm. men, whatever. Yes. Mm. So I talk about such things. When you come close to me, I, I am I'm a, I'm a liberal person. Yeah. So coming on this show is... So if a man likes that, for instance, men but like society so many things. suppresses mm. that the, need, yes, you know? Yes, but the ladies in Africa, when they talk about they find it difficult to communicate yes. with the men about so how necessary. they want it or what they want because they feel mm. like the men will... Will we'll tell them that, oh, you are a spoiled brat, you are a prostitute mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. So they find it difficult. And most, mostly, our parents, how we were that, trained, that, that is the root they of never exposed We yes. never grow Thank out you. of yeah. a sex being sex, a sin. Yeah. Yes. Unto sex being a wonderful thing. Yes. And uh, yeah. that is the preaching that I've been preaching here. And trust you <laughs> me, I'm anointed by God <laughs> to give you information that will make your marriages better. We'll let you and, and, and I probably will do it because we've heard everything about how sinful sex is. Yeah. Nobody ever says, said sex was amazing. It was a need. It was awesome and we needed it. And I'm, I'm great with the ability to tell you that sex yeah. is good sex is amazing oh sex is wonderful wonderful precious Adi says kissing tends to be more sweet when you're fighting with your man <laughs> yes. Ah, yes that's miss nancy point. you are everything i can't stop watching duvet kissing is the best medicine ever i didn't <laughs> know doc we is kissing put, medicine we should Bimbos. put in a vow <laughs> Whilst we are still on kissing, let me tell you about the sasa chili sauce. Sasa chili sauce, if you've got lips like mine, that wants to taste something hot because you, before you know that this food is good, then sasa chili sauce is what I would recommend for you. It is great. It is, it is awesome. It's got all the natural spices in there. And I tell you that it's so good that you could keep it in your dressing bag. And when you go to your favorite restaurant and you do not taste the Ghana in the meal, just sprinkle some sasa chili sauce on it and uh, you are good. People, I'll be right back. Please don't go away. Hey, welcome back. This is Duvet on J1 TV, and tonight we're setting the sexual goals. And uh, I've had the great honor of hosting Dr. Francis Odua Odum. He is a medical doctor. Jennifer Brickman, uh, she is Guinean German, yes. a life coach, and an image consultant. And Ashlam the zionist uh, she is a great woman with experience a woman of god and i love how exposed she is and how liberal she is and how she's excited about duvet she came in with the attitude i don't know what's going to happen in the car whilst they are going home <laughs> but i'm imagining all sort of things and that brings me to the conversation of fantasies mm. and character play mm. oh neighbor davis says i was not in the mood but today's show has put me up I can't wait to start my mwah, mwah. My wife is in the bathroom and she will be showing up now. Thanks for the teaching. Joe, your wife is coming. We're also going. We should sit here for you and your wife to We're do rooting work. for you. Huh? No, we, uh, guys, we need to wrap up and go because yeah. I'm not going to sit here and imagine this guy do... I mean, how? Please, uh, if your wife comes, you take your time. Let us finish the show so that I can get on it. It's not fair to us at all. Yeah. Okay. I love kissing and foreplay a lot before getting down to business. But my partner doesn't like any foreplay before actions because she's too sensitive and can't resist foreplay. This is a woman trying not to have an orgasm. Yeah, no, it's, 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 happens. Miss, Miss it's, it's, hmm. it's, a, it's a big problem. It's a medical problem. It's a psychological okay. problem, actually. She doesn't want to have an orgasm. No, it's not that she doesn't. It's not that she doesn't want to have an orgasm, but she's actually in the fear of what will happen when she gets an orgasm. You know that part of. No, it's hard to imagine. You know, you know that part of orgasm where you lose control. Yes. And then you don't know what you do. And what you say. And in you fact, are done. You scream, and then you are waiting to see if somebody heard you from next door. So it's the fear of. The unknown. What is going to happen mm. if I lose control of myself? Mm. That makes a lot of women don't want to have orgasm. So, How sad. Yes. So what 
it's it's very good he has actually noticed noticed okay that's a very observant man i think i think he should call you yeah. Um, yeah, on my platform also I've realized many women truthfully say that they never had experienced an oh, orgasm. orgasm yes. And sometimes I, it, it baffles me because I'm like, how can that be? It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Yes. But it's something in their head yes. where they cannot let loose, yes. where they are traumatized. Yes. And um, I knew someone, one yes. of my friends, yes. and I, I told her, like, you have to figure it out mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. She figured it out herself, so mm -hmm. she was fine. Mm -hmm. She had her first orgasm oh with 27 God. years of age, yes. and it was amazing for her. It would be. Yeah. So please try to figure out. Like, it yeah. needs to be I also be had done. my first orgasm at the age of 27. See? Okay. So all the sex I've had, yeah. waste. Yeah. Was, yes. yeah. And yeah. she got really upset at men because she was like, nobody could give me that. Well, yeah, Y'all are really bad guys. No, like, I mean, and that's that thing that when when you you live a decent life, you meet men who do not bother to yeah. consider your feelings and your yes. satisfaction yes. Yes. and it's give you sad. a big O, and you suddenly meet that person that gives you the big O. That is when, if you are not careful, you think it's a spiritual marriage. <laughs> Drama. You want to ask oh, some you know, spirituality to because you, know. you are unable to let go. Yeah. The person, yeah. the, another human being gets to know your understand. body so much yeah. so that makes you relaxed. You see, that's the point. Yeah. It's me. You made me relax so much, much. so that I'm able to Lose give myself and, you know, let that's go. The, that's the word. Have Okay. You sleep mm. for days. Rejuvenation, oh, yeah. in a sense. Mm -hmm. You yeah. go to work and everybody's like, yeah, yo, yeah. what happened to you today? Yes. Charlie, where you Let's yes. talk about <laughs> fantasies and character <laughs> play. And uh, do you find that exciting? Fantasies and character play? Have you ever been in a schoolgirl uniform or a maid's <laughs> uniform? Or, um, I think I was in a situation once where I was in the mood to mm -hmm. try it out, but my partner was like, no, we're not having that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. So, I, I suppose maybe maybe wearing a uniform should be done at some point in my life. Yes. Mm. That's a task. That's something we can take care yeah. of. Mm -hmm. And uh, I must also say the fantasy is crucial. Like, yes. like I told you guys, fantasy, guys, fantasy, yeah, mm -hmm. is crucial. Very you have important. to understand yeah. this is activating our mind, body, soul, spirit, everything. Mm -hmm. And you will get the woman to where you want to get her if yeah. you try to implement a beautiful fantasy in her mind and mm -hmm. in her soul. Mm -hmm. Doc, your greatest fantasy? Um, I'm imagining, you know, um, uh, like I'm a, you know, those household repairs, you know, and mm -hmm. AC repair, a mechanic, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. plumber, Mm. In and your then, overall, you know, and then a lady calls me. Mm -hmm. Oh, me, me, my dear, we are saying, oh, mm -hmm. then I'll get there, you know, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it, and something of her drops, and then she bends down, and I turn, and you know, then you know, I have to take off my shirt, you know, to try yeah. and fix it, and she sees it, and you know, and it attracts, and you know, Doc, that, you're actually in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> That is what fantasies are supposed to do. Yes. Excite your imagination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a typical Kenyan man, would you be able to call your girlfriend and tell her that, you see, I'm coming home and I'm going to pretend like I'm a repairer and please make sure that you're wearing a skimpy little thing and no drawers. I think it's beautiful, it should, honestly. It should be easy. Why shouldn't it be? Yes. It should, it, it, it could start with just a text. A text. Yes. You know, just a text. Now there are emojis around, if you are finding it difficult to text. Mm -hmm. Find a nice emoji, you know, send it an emoji, mm -hmm. send a short video. Mm -hmm. We are doing this today. You know. Hey, fantasies and uh, character play, what have you ever played? Mm, I've... <laughs> I've done it all. Oh, yeah, mostly. Yeah, I, I but what wear, was what was more, and, most exciting? The most exciting one is when you're yeah, like uh, acting as a dog. Mm. A yeah, dog? Yes. Some, some men, the, a guy I met mm. like that, mm. you have to be acting like it. Like, you just pretend like you're a dog. So you'll and, be down and you'll be whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, in a nice way, not like whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You know, we have ways of doing things. It's not 
Yeah. Like that, no. So, so you are down yeah, and you're then... just, you know, on the floor or maybe crawling like an animal. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It turns some men mm. on. Oh. It's, it's... <laughs> Darling. And my, my husband and I, we mostly do like the texting. Yeah. We do it a lot yeah. and yeah. we prepare, you know, yeah. the whole lot. Yeah. Well, I, I think I have a great voice, but I do not know how I would sound and your if voice I had to is do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Phyllis, I cry about you. This is the sex position Sexual of the goal. week, and it ends for those of you with beautiful husbands and wives. The Bible says, "Enjoy the partner of your youth." So, this is for you. Sex position of the week. The rocking horse. This position puts the woman in control. The man sits with his legs crossed and leans back, supporting himself with his arms. The woman sits astride him with her knees bent either side of his waist. The woman can then rock back and forth in a rocking horse motion. Sex position of the week. The rocking horse. This position puts the woman in control. The man sits with his legs crossed and leans back, supporting himself with his arms. The woman sits astride him with her knees bent either side of his waist. The woman can then rock back and forth in a rocking horse motion. This position, party. If I had the opportunity and I was old enough, I would have tried it tonight. It is so sensual. Like, you know, I love positions that are intimate. I'm a lover. Yeah. I'm a lover. I'm, I'm a lover from, I mean, absolutely a sucker for love. So mm. everything I do in the bedroom should be... Even the yeah. way you talk. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Mm. I love it. I feel that a woman, my, my breasts are my million dollar spots. Mm. It should be in your face, man. Mm. You should I've, see I've it. Never, oh, mm. uh, yeah. Maybe I'm that's probably. what's keeping me young. I'm 40 years old. Ah, oh, darling. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm almost, <laughs> and I'm super excited. You need to be uh, releasing it. <laughs> I love this. When I grow up, uh, Banini, remind me to give this exposition when I find yeah. a, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful person. Yes, uh, we were talking about. Uh, you the wanted us to talk about bondage. Yeah, the the bondage. Bondage. Yes, 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 yes. I've done that. Mm. Um, my late husband and I. He mm. he's fifty five years older than me, mm. but he's very romantic. Mm. He was very fifty five years, years older, older than, than you. Mm. But yes. He was romantic. Very, very mm. extreme. Mm. He Extremely. likes all the things mm. he can. You know, chain you. Mm -hmm. When you are bathing, he's there. He wants to be taking pictures. Mm. That's what turns him on mm. a whole lot. Mm. Like, oh my God. But, but bathing, <laughs> watching your partner bathe with a glass of wine yes. or champagne is also another. The erotic word or coat of the week. I do not know <laughs> if it's an erotic word or coat, but it usually gets me very, very excited. Let's take the erotic coat of the week. Erratic quotes of the week Making you horny and making you smile Are my two favorite things Smile Making you horny and making you smile Are my two favorite things Yeah I love to make people horny though Even on set <laughs> My voice, huh? Yes What about it? Some men will be turned on just oh, yeah. by listening to your voice. Oh, oh yeah. yes. I know men that have dated in the past that likes that. The sort love of great voice. voice. Soft Immediately voice. they hear it. Ah, Jack. Mm. <laughs> Today, <laughs> my voice, I didn't know was a weapon. I only thought it was earning me a living mm. as a presenter. It's also now a I'm win hearts. I am mm. you. I'm activating, <laughs> reactivating my voice in the bedroom. Girl. <laughs> So we're talking about, um, you know how people love the, the humiliation bit when it comes to role playing, like mm -hmm. you just did something and uh, get out of here, I've taken your dress, I've torn your dress and all of that acting, is it, is it a scene for a, a part of the world or it's a bit extreme? 
Not at all. Choking. Mm-hmm. Is choking being done in Ghana? <laughs> choking? I you love being choked? <clears throat> you love being choked, huh? No, it, it has to be a slight choke. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> And the exposure, she. I have done these things whilst I was in Ghana when I was now exposed. A I shock think choke. I was born. You, oh, like, I don't like, know. A, like a, a soft mm. shock choke. Wait, impromptu, it's elevator, just, boom. Yes. Just a little boom. I've done it's, it's a reminder. I'm here. And it's not hurtful. It's yes. like, ooh. It's like, oh, I'm okay. Good morning. Mm. Uh, was your partner again? Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, and he was able to do the boom. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's like boom like, and mm-hmm. done. And it's like, okay, all right, I got you. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and it's a vice versa. Yes. Yes. Belinda says, I love kissing, <laughs> but I feel I enjoy it more when my partner touches other erogenous zones <laughs> of my body simultaneously as the kissing is ongoing. I want to know if it's normal to feel like that way. Baby, <laughs> anything to give you the big O is normal. Enjoy it. Absolutely. Mm. You need to enjoy it. It's a, it's a, it's a good one. It mm. is a good one. So we were talking about um, some of the things that you can uh, do together. Your sex positions, your flogging. Yes. Mm. Flogging. <sighs> Fantasies and character plays. So this is the part where you like, are you okay? Mm-hmm. What is this person you have become today? Mm-hmm. You, you, you are behaving differently. This yeah. is not you. And yet everything your partner oh, is doing yeah. for you is exciting. Yeah. The flogging there, you have to trust the person. It takes a lot Flogging. of communication. It, 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 really, yeah. it really must, you know, it must take two to tango. Yeah. You know, when when, when, it comes when to I was things. hyper mm-hmm. growing up and I was addicted to sex, yeah. mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love Flogging. The, yes, I love the spanking, mm-hmm. the heart. You have to mm-hmm. beat me. You have to spank me. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I like it so wild. You yes. have to turn me around. So if you are a man, you are not an ejectee. And then you, you not enjoy the person. In, yes, I cannot enjoy you. Mm. You have to do all sorts of things. Is it the adrenaline or what that, is it? That, yeah. I, that was my drive. My, yeah. my sex drive was high. Yeah. 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 And that was how I could also enjoy sex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today, I've learned a lot. My mm. partner must be shaking. With all the skills learned and the I can do spirit, I will let my woman feel like a queen. Mm. Omari J is scripture. Omari mm. J. <laughs> and if you make her feel like a queen, she will call you king. Yes. Yes. And it's beautiful. When a woman wants to adore you, even with her words, yeah. if you're amazing, mm. you get to be called king. The line's activated. There was a call on the line. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Martin. Your name, where are you calling Hi. from, please? My name is Giovanni, calling from Dema. <laughs> is it my ex TV husband, Giovanni? <laughs> no. All right, Giovanni, thank you for calling in. Uh, is it a question or contribution? Please go ahead. Well, uh, it's a challenge I'm facing, actually. Mm-hmm. I, I have this new girlfriend, mm-hmm. and uh, four pay is not for her. It's more for her. She always wants to do hard way. Like, before we can hurt her, she wants me to do it as if I'm trying to rape her. That is what I are on. So each time we are going to hurt her, I have to drag her to her pan. That is the only thing she wants from me. And the uh, is that it's really, really affecting me mm. because that is not the way I'm supposed to you know, make a love with the woman by forcing you, trying to do it like I'm raping you. So it needs to be in consent. And I'm beginning to think about, you know, dropping the relationship. Since the relationship is still very young, like three mm. months now. Mm. But I'm not really enjoying her in bed. Are you enjoying her? Um, actually, I'm enjoying her, but the starting point is the problem. You know, I have to, like, I'm waiting here, she'll be struggling with me. That is the only thing that sends her off. Mm. And it's very strange to me. 
is strange. I, honestly, thank you. Thank you so much. Honestly, it isn't so strange as part of the conversation we're having. There are people who love bondage. Yes. There are people who love bondage, and that is what is only the way that excites them. But that shouldn't be the only way oh, yeah. that she should be able yes, to enjoy sex. I, so, I grew doctor, up she, she's yet to she's yet to discover. experience other other things. Yes. Thank you. Keep your thoughts. Yes. I'll come back to you. There is a call on the line. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Nancy. You are live on duvet. Yeah. Thank you, and God bless you for the good work you are doing. Amen. Um, please. It's a question I want to ask the doctor. Mm hmm. Uh, please. Um, here is my partner. Uh, this is the first time she's experiencing this. Um, she's having a menstruation and then she, the date has passed and yes, so it's flowing. Okay. And I want to know the cause and then the solution to it. Okay. Um, menstruation? If I got it right. Yeah, um, it's, um, come again. The number of days is over, but yes, she's still yeah, flowing. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. it's over. As in, she's probably... the first time she's experiencing days. She's not supposed to be flowing, but she's flowing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, can she go see... Yes, I think she she definitely needs a she needs to see a guy. In, okay. Right? There are so many causes of that, you know. Um, very common. She mm. probably could have fibroid. I'm not okay. saying that that's what she has, but then mm -hmm. very commonly, you know, mm -hmm. it could even be an infection. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is making her bleed just before her time. Mm -hmm. So, but these things can be solved now. There's there's so much you know, knowledge about these things in the Easy. hospital that. It can be solved in just a twinkle of an eye. Okay. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. Just okay, Doc, do not there. forget the bondage thing. Let sure. me pick another caller. Sure. We'll get back to you. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Or lady? Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are Wait. you? I'm nice. I'm nice. Go ahead. Yeah. Question or contribution? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Bona. Hi, Bona. Bona, yeah. Calling from PC. Okay, go ahead. Uh, today, today is my first time of watching the program. Mm. Really enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you. And most especially the kissing. The kissing bit, huh? Yeah, <laughs> kissing, kissing actually is a starter. It's a starter. It arose your interest. Mm -hmm. At the end, it enables you to hit the bull's eye. Okay. Mm. So, thank you. Good work done. My regards to Dr. Francis. Okay. That's why he's been pretty excited. He's been pretty excited when he heard your name. Thank you, thank you so much. He says it's a starter. Back to the bondage. Yes. The lady wants to be strangled. She wants to be assaulted physically, almost abused before she gets sexually yeah. excited. Yeah. It's, it's just like we discussed. It's not, it's not a new thing. Okay. But then I think the lady has, is, has not yet been exposed to, you know, other ways. Of getting okay. orgasms and enjoying Yeah, I'm sex. not too sure about what has happened. But then she probably had um, previous boyfriends who made her feel that way. That Doc, she felt... uh, can you um, give your number out to yeah. some people that may need your services? Sure, sure, sure. Especially sure, sure, to sure, this sure. I, I couple. I think that they need help. They need, yes. Because yes, yes, uh, yes, he's yes. into the lady. That's why he would call exactly. live on the and, show. And, and when you listen to the tone, mm -hmm. the tone he's when you're speaking, uh, he really wishes to, you know, get things together. He said... This thing is a new relationship and he really wants to get mm -hmm. it on. Yeah. I think he needs to. But I just say, power, Suma Sana Waba. Hey, sister. Your power, Suma Sana Waba. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of humans. You know, we are, we are, we are, we are so vulnerable. We are diverse. Amazing. Yeah. We need to understand yeah. ourselves before. Amazing. Yeah, but Thank you. Help. Thank yeah. you. So, I mean, we're wrapping up. Would you believe the time is up? Wow. Oh, We've had so such soon. a great conversation that, that we lost track of time. <laughs> so, so, Ashlo, uh, yes. for a woman that has uh, had that experience of wanting sex only with bondages and those wild wow, things. Thanks. What would you tell to the uh, tell this woman? And then end with your social media handles Handle so that people okay. can find um, you. This lady, I find myself in her when mm -hmm. I was young, growing up. Okay. I was much into illicit drugs mm -hmm. that okay. caused this issue. I don't know so if it's it something that there her is partner something has that, to, yes, to look check, into. To look into. Yeah. Maybe she's either drinking too much alcohol mm -hmm. or doing something else. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, too, when you love or you like ladies, mm -hmm. let me bring it into quote. Mm -hmm. There are some ladies 
who are attracted to women. Okay. But it's hidden within okay. us. Yes, you can also find such an issue, go to mm -hmm. such an issue. Mm -hmm. And also our hormones. Mm -hmm. We have different types of, ho like the hormonal mm -hmm. imbalances yeah. also causes cause those this. things. So... As, as they need medical attention. Medical attention. Girl, and, and, and where can exposure. you be found? Where can you be found At on social Ashlom, media? Ashlom, A-S-H-L-O-R-M, mm -hmm. on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Facebook, Ashlom the Zionist, or Elom the Zionist, on all, if you Google Ashlom the Zionist, you, you will you be get found. Me, yeah. Thank you very much, Doc. Your last words, and then mm. uh, I come to Jennifer. Yeah, um, uh, whenever I come on the show, I'm so appreciative of what um, GH1 TV and Miss Nancy yourself you are Thank doing. Thank you. Okay. Um, in quote, whatever nonsense you are discussing, mm -hmm. somebody is taking note and is saving someone's marriage. Indeed. Okay? Indeed. So we shouldn't give up. We shouldn't, you know, it's a good thing. Sex education is very Where important. Why are you found on social media? I'm always media? at Ted Serving. Mm -hmm. I'm always, and I'm not, I'm not really a social media person, person. but you can find me at, in, in Osu every Friday. Okay. Yeah, every Friday in Osu. All right. Everywhere in Osu, I'm around. So. Okay. So where are you found, darling? Um, I am on 8 Oxygen, so number 8, O-X-Y-J-E-N-N, -N, and I must say, I feel very delighted and very honored to be here. Mm -hmm. I love the open discussion about sexuality, mm -hmm. which is very, very much needed. It is. And we is. all need to open up more. Thank you. Even Thank I need you. to loosen up more. <laughs> we all do, darling. Yes. Every now and then, we, we want to awesome. I mean, go back in and be the good girl, and then we realize that we have to do it for Madagana. It is such a delight and an honor True. that I bring you information that make your love lives and your marriages even better. My name is Miss Nancy on Instagram, msnancy underscore sc, and I love you, Ghana. God richly blesses all. Mwah!